Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Chemistry in 15 Minutes or Less. My name is Audra and this review lesson is on chapter 4. Part 1. Light. Now, light is a form of energy. Specifically, radiant energy, and even more specifically, electromagnetic radiation. Now, as far as electromagnetic radiation goes, there's the entire electromagnetic spectrum, which, as you've probably seen before, in order of smallest to largest wavelength, you have gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet light, visible light, infrared light, microwaves, and then radio waves. Like I said, goes from short to long. Now visible light is here in the middle, and visible light takes up the wavelengths of 400 to 700 nanometers. Everything else on either side is either smaller or larger respectively. Some other things we need to talk about are some basic definitions and abbreviations to get us through the rest of this lesson. We have to talk about wavelengths and frequency. Now wavelength is abbreviated by the Greek letter lambda, which looks like this. But all wavelength is, is the distance between corresponding points of adjacent waves. So if you have a wave like this, your wavelength can be measured from here to here, or maybe say here to here, or even here to here. As long as they correspond with each other, it doesn't matter. And frequency is abbreviated by the Greek letter nu, which looks a bit like a strangely cursive V. And all frequency is is the number of waves that pass a certain point in a specific time. And the main unit of frequency is hertz, which is one wave per second. Something else important to talk about at this point is the relation between these and another important equation. The important equation is E equals H nu, which basically E is energy, and H is what's called Planck's constant because he's the man who came up with this equation, and Planck's constant is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds, and obviously nu is going to be your frequency, whatever it is for that equation. And the other important equation to talk about is the relation between wavelength frequency and light, where light as c equals lambda times nu, where c is your light, Lambda is your wavelength, and nu is your frequency. The last thing to talk about is something we talked about in this lesson that's not entirely directly related to light, but is also part of the chapter, and I want to get it out of the way before the next video, are ground state, excited state, and ionized state. These are all states of electrons. The ground state is the lowest possible energy level for electrons. The excited state is when one or more electrons are higher than ground, and ionized is obviously the highest, where electrons have enough to leave the nucleus. They can break over their force and get it out of the way. And we also briefly discussed again Bohr's model of the atom, which as you'll remember is the planetary model like this with electrons on fixed orbital rings. And these rings are based on energy levels of electrons, where the ground state would be in here, excited in here, and ionized ones are leaving, heading off in another direction, packing up, and going off to college. Now I know this episode is pretty short, but I need as much time as I can in the other sections in this chapter. There's a lot to go over, and I wanted to take the four minutes to talk about this in a separate video. This should conclude episode 5 of Chemistry in 15 Minutes or Less, then, so feel free to leave questions or suggestions in the comments below, and be sure to follow the in-video links, check out the playlist, or head over to my channel for more videos on Chemistry Review. As always, I hope this helps, and have a great night.